A food shortage is a big deal. You don't want one. But now we're getting one. We've seen the headlines. Food shortages coming. Fertilizer shortages to affect food prices. Wheat and other commodity prices rising. Today I want to show you a list of commodity-based foods to add to your prepper pantry. Let's start with wheat. One of the most used commodities. And if you watch the news, you're seeing how much wheat that Russia and Ukraine produce for the whole world, which is going to affect wheat prices all over the entire globe. Wheat is a base product in a lot of your baking foods, such as different flours, self-rising flour, all-purpose flour, also used in crackers, noodles, spaghetti, elbow macaroni, bran flakes, cereals, baking mixes, pancakes. Now this is just a short list of foods, but some of the main foods for you to stockpile in case of an emergency, or in this case, rising prices of wheat. Bought this bag of wheat berries on walmart.com. Make sure you have some other wheat berries. Right back here, 24 pounds of white wheat. Last year I bought a bucket of wheat, it was $18. The last bucket I bought was about $42. And on Amazon and Walmart.com, you can hardly find these. Next we have corn. Corn futures are up 28% year to date. There are quite a bit of foods that use corn and if you notice, I have ketchup, pasta sauce, pork and beans, some barbecue sauce. These use corn in the form of high fructose corn syrup. There are many products nowadays that use high fructose corn syrup. But as far as basic commodity, you have it in cereals, such as corn flakes, a major prepper item, corn starch, Cornmeal, corn muffin mix. These here are basic grain items. These here use high fructose corn syrup. The number three commodity is rice. In a crisis, one of the main things that is shipped to poorer countries or countries in a crisis is rice. Rice and water, two staples in a crisis. You could buy this in small one pound bags five pound bags, or in this case, 24 pounds. This is 40,000 calories. 40,000 calories is a lot of energy. And also used in cereal. Next we have oats, a breakfast staple. Oats don't come in too many forms other than your regular whole grain and different cereals. And also, it's used in granola. Next, we have soybeans. Soybeans are up 20% year to date. Many foods use soybean in the form of soybean oil. Vegetable oil. That's all it is. Soybean oil. These are different products that have soybean oil in them, vegetable shortening. Soybean oil. Peanut butter. Different types of soup have soybean oil. Dressings, sauces, and of course, soy sauce, and even these chili beans. have soybean oil. The last two commodity based foods are coffee and sugar. Coffee is up 87% over the last year and sugar is up about 30%. Of course, these are self-explanatory. They come in their basic form, sugar, brown sugar, powdered sugar, and coffee. 
I hope this video gives you some ideas on commodity based foods that you can buy because these commodity futures keep rising. It may not catch up right now with the price on the shelf, but with the continued fertilizer shortages and these rising commodity prices, there's a chance that you can get ahead of the game by getting some of what's on this list. Thank you for watching, and as always, happy purple shopping.